Here's what nobody is talking about with Trey Young. While you wouldn't have been wrong to attribute Ice Trey's 33 point per game averages so far to his patented deep range shooting, Young's actually taking almost four less three point attempts per game than he did as a sophomore. So this video shows you how Atlanta's superstar is frustrating opponents with his underrated slashing, and stay tuned to see how far Trey's lethal talent can lead the Hawks this year. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to D-Flow Hoops. If you're new here and a basketball fan interested in NBA rankings, predictions, and stories, you're in the right place. Please subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time I post content, which is at least twice a week. Ona Ebo Daga earns the commenter shout out for saying Christian Wood will take the next step and win the most improved player award this season, going on to say he sees Christian taking a fringe all-star to all-star step. Great answer. Questions on its way for next video shout out. The Speaks board resets to zero in my next video, and I ship NBA merchandise of their choosing to 2020's top five, so get your takes in. Less than a week after Memphis Grizzlies rising star John Morant compared Trey Young to a hobbit, the Atlanta Hawks superstar exacted revenge on Saturday with a too small gesture of his own. After the game, Morant spoke about his budding rivalry with Young and attributed the competition to their desire to become the best, saying, we're both young talents trying to be the face of the league. After these two jersey swapped in their first career meeting last season, Morant shockingly initiated this beef by disrespecting Young in the preseason, but Ice Trey responded with a dose of poetic justice. That layup sealed Atlanta the win against Memphis, but I want to quickly key in on why both that altercation with Ja as well as Grayson Allen stepping on his ankle even went down in the first place. After Allen appeared to grab onto Trey right here in that same preseason game I talked about earlier, Young shoves him off, and the next time the Hawks and Grizzlies played in the regular season, Grayson would try something blasphemous. As you can see, Grayson steps on Trey's ankle right here, and then takes a second attempt, which proves it was intentional. I know Allen's reputation of being a dirty player goes back to college, but this type of play and him grabbing on to Trey back in the preseason just goes to show the unstoppable and confusing threat Trey poses. Just as defenders have figured out how to limit Trey's deep range ability, his offensive awareness within the three-point line has become twice as overwhelming than it was last year, which leads us into the next segment. When you hear the name Trey Young, you automatically think, well, Trey's, aka deep range bombs, and rightfully so. But it's Young's soft touch around the basket that's an insanely underrated aspect in his offensive repertoire. The Hawks' 22-year-old phenom has become the first player in league history to score at least 100 points through his first three games of a season while attempting fewer than 50 shots from the field. He's still draining pull-up threes and performing magic with a live dribble. However, with more options around him, Trey's averaging fewer touches, dribbles per touch, and total time of possession than he did last season. Young's not over-dribbling anymore, and the results have been stellar. 33 points and 8.3 assists in just 31.6 minutes per game on sparkling 51, 35, and 90 shooting splits. You have to pick this man up from 30 plus feet, that's a given, but it's his speed, floater game, and ability to finish through contact in the paint that truly makes him a dominant offensive force. Trey slashing is of course one of the biggest reasons for why the new look Hawks are 3 and one You'll see Atlanta's potential coming up, but I have to break down another underrated aspect of Trey's game that's reached an all-time great level in his third year. Another area in which Young's taken a massive step forward is his ability to get to the charity stripe. The Hawks ranked number one in free throw rate and team free throw percentage, almost entirely on the back of Young, who's drawn 39 fouls and attempted a Harden-esque 62 free throws in 126 minutes. As gaudy as those numbers are, they really aren't out of character because Young was second in the league last season in fouls drawn per game and finished third in free throw attempts per game. But after two full seasons of digesting NBA defenses, scoping out the tendencies of defenders and officials alike, Young's finally reached a new level of comfort for how to navigate in the half court. He can catch opponents off balance and reap the benefits as his scoring IQ has utterly leveled up. He poses a really confusing dilemma for his matchup because in the pick and roll, he'll consistently just stop short and force them into contact. He's overwhelmingly skilled at attempting his shot the very split second a defender goes over the screen. 
That often earns him three free throws. And Young drew 43 fouls while shooting a three in 2019, 20 second only to James Harden's insane 72. But Trey's already drawn a league-leading five three-point foul shots through four games. And as it's been proven in recent history with CP3 in the beard, plays like these can drive opponents, opposing fan bases, and casual fans nuts. But he's not just some stat patter. Trey's hungry to win and rupture his matchup spirit. The man's a scoring expert, so I think we should do our best to appreciate his ability to slow down the game and get freebies when his team needs them the most. But with that cheesy yet effective mechanism of drawing fouls combined with his three-level scoring and Lob City passing, Young's capable of leading the league in both points and assists. And unlike other three-point marksmen, Young doesn't settle for perimeter jumpers. The man never stops probing until he finds the best look possible. I'll talk about Trey's MVP chances next, but the new look Hawks kicked off the 2020-21 season by starting 3-0 and just lost in a close high-scoring game against the Brooklyn Nets last night as Kyrie torched them in the fourth quarter. But here's why Hawks fans or anyone looking for the next contender in the East shouldn't be too upset after that L. It was a back and forth duel with the powerhouse Nets where every one of Atlanta's youth held their own in a showdown with a top contender. Trey Young dropped 30 and 10 and for the majority of the game outplayed a top three guard in Kyrie. John Collins shot 12 of 20 from the field putting up 30 points and 10 boards. 21-year-old Cam Reddish dropped 20 points and looks much improved so far in his sophomore campaign. But even though they added several new faces to the roster through free agency and trades over the last few months, no one thought they'd look like a legitimate Eastern Conference threat in the second week of the season. Most notably, Trey's play has been benefited by several other competent players around him. That's not something you could have said about the last two seasons, but the additions of Danilo Gallinari, Clint Capella, Rajon Rondo, and Bogdan Bogdanovich have already elevated Young's performance. GM Travis Schlank did an excellent job of putting pieces together around Young this season. This has made it much easier for him to get other players involved, and having better players around him also takes some of the pressure off his shoulders, which has improved his efficiency so far. We're four games in, anything can happen, but Atlanta has the assets that could legitimately make them a top five seed in the Eastern Conference. With multifunctional talent surrounding a bona fide superstar in Trey, 2014-15 Golden State Warrior comparisons are going to come for this young 2021 Hawks team. While I think Atlanta is more relatable to the 2013-14 Warrior team that got bounced in round one, some of the Hawks' young talent is still developing. So, I mean, the progression of a two-way wing like DeAndre Hunter, the aforementioned shot creation of Cam Reddish, and a three-point sniper in Kevin Herter, that could be the factor eventually making Atlanta the next Eastern Conference dynasty. So, is it too soon to start thinking about the NBA MVP trophy going to Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks this season? Sample size aside, we know who Trey Young is, and that's an absolutely special talent. Some may even say a generational talent. After The Last Dance came out in April, Trey Young said the MJ documentary inspired him to win the MVP trophy. And Young's vocal about making greatness happen, his game backs that up. And off the court, his primary and really only focus in life is basketball, something you can't say about most superstars. So why or why not do you think Young will be the 2021 MVP? Best answer gets next video shout out. Leave a like if you enjoyed, it really helps the video spread. But you're the best for tuning in. This was D Flow, and I'll see you next video.